You just heard a little bit there from Roanoke Police Chief Tim Jones, and that was just a small slice of the strong words he had today about the shooting. In fact, I've just reviewed the entire news conference. He clearly has had it with a culture of guns and violence in Roanoke. This comes as the video, this video right here of that shooting has been viewed now more than 33,000 times on Twitter. I am disgusted. If you were the police chief, you'd be disgusted too. Roanoke Police Chief Tim Jones emotional during a Monday media briefing on the weekend shooting, which he blamed on alcohol and social encounters. His frustration clearly evident. So before I offend someone or make someone else angry, because I have a habit of speaking the truth. Uh, I won't explore that anymore. Jones referred to a post on social media in which a person calls for the victim to be robbed moments after a single shot is heard. Bro, rob him! Rob him! Rob him. Folks, that is deplorable. What type of individual nonchalantly walks over to a car, gets a gun, come back and shoot another human being? and then walks away like nothing happens. Most of the people who are in downtown are there just to witness the show. This isn't some kind of rap video. Jones also blamed the judicial system, saying scenes like this would be less frequent if criminals remained in prison longer. He expects to find the suspect in this case was one of those who was released early. Probably has had a history of violent offenses, most likely has been incarcerated in some correctional facility for a period of time, and has probably been released within the last three years. I see it all too often. Jones worries this event will leave a stain on Roanoke's reputation, and he's pleading with people to change their attitudes or hit the road. Do me a favor, take some personal responsibility. If you live in this city, and you care, by all means, do the right thing. If you don't move somewhere else, I have had it with you. And again, to reiterate, the chief says approximately half of the officers on duty Saturday night were patrolling the downtown area at the time of the shooting. He adds that they do have several leads on the suspect.